Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what's my channel, my Yankees, and today I have another SOCOM game for you guys, this is Suppression, and I will be bringing you a uh, Suppression for the meantime, uh, because I'm trying to get back into this game, and, uh, and thus I will be playing Suppression most of the time, because honestly, if you just jump into Classic after not playing this game for a while, you're not gonna do well, especially if you go up and you take the wrong route and you die, then you gotta wait for everyone to die, so, you know, the respawn gives you an opportunity to die and respawn and you know keep trying and trying and trying until you get your you know your skill set back as far as defense, running around, diving, you know, getting cover, you know, navigating the map the proper way, you know. I feel like a noob sometimes when I play. Like recently I played yesterday for like three hours and uh, I was doing pretty good. I got MVP maybe I don't know, maybe like maybe seven times out of ten or something like that. Um, and uh well, not exactly, probably 10. I got I got a number of MVPs for most of my games. But it was fun, you know. I played a uh, play suppression. I played some bomb squad with a with a with a guy on my friends list. Uh so that was pretty cool, but um yeah, you run into a lot of now when I play, you run into a lot of teams which is pretty competitive and sometimes unfair. For instance, I jumped on a team uh we were playing small map suppression uh and I was on the side where there was a full team and we were really spawn trapping like we were in the spawn just like you know destroying the guys it wasn't even fair like i didn't i didn't really like it i mean we got like maybe four or five kills and i left it was just like it was nonsense because we just kept them in the spawn so you know it gets really unfair especially for people that are just you know just bought the game because i got a lot of people messaging me that just bought the game um you know you run into a situation like that it discourages you you're like fuck i don't want to play this game i'm just gonna run into teams and get fucking spawn trapped all day so it really sucks you know uh, but not every game is like that, you know, not that that's why I say, you know, if you're just starting off stick to, you know, suppression, big map suppression, because, you know, there's a lot of people and if you go negative, you know, they won't really blame it on you. You usually don't get voted out because you need nine, you know, votes to really kick you out of a, a big map suppression. Unless you're playing with a team that has fucking nine members in the game, then you're really not going to get voted out like that all the time. So we had guys going like, you know. We had one guy go 0 and 14, another guy go 1 and 20. So, you know it happens, but you know what can you do? You can just play your game and enjoy it. You know, um, if you know they go negative, they go negative. You know, it's a learning process. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, stick to big map suppression in the meantime while you learn the maps. Uh, figure out what gun you like the best. Uh, how you figure to navigate the map the best, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, don't get discouraged by uh, by the fact that you might be playing teams and it might be better than you. And also, don't get discouraged by the tubes. Because the tubes are fucking annoying. Holy shit. It's like you're in a gunfight. And it's like the guy has a gun. You know, perfectly, you know, modded up to five weapon in his hands. And he just wants to tube you. Why? Because he just wants to be a dick. So, you know, excuse my language, my French, or whatnot. But it's just fucking annoying. Uh, but yeah, that's just part of the game. And, you know, I've learned to, like, deal with it, you know. I've you know, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 is like that when you play Call of Duty, if you're a Call of Duty player. Uh, it was all about tubes. He is a little more annoying uh, because I feel like this game was more tactical when I played it. And I was around from the beginning, so I didn't, I didn't, you know, beginning there wasn't tubes, you know, that people were, it was more gun on gun, you know, see who had the best skill set, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, uh, you're better than me? Cool, I'm going to tube you. So, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, not fair. So, um, you know, if you are... A tuber, you're an asshole. Um, if you're learning the game, just you know, let it go. And right now, I'm using C4. Um, I don't know if this is uh, post patch gameplay. I said I was gonna bring you guys a C4 gameplay, but you know, I played yesterday and there were people using C4 and they were you know getting kills with it. So you know, the only thing is that the throwing distance is um, less, and I believe the blast distance is uh, the blast radius is, is less. So you know, it's you're not gonna get the uh, ridiculous quads and triples you used to get before um, and right here I'm looking at it it might be pre-patch um, but I'm not sure exactly it was a fun gameplay so I said you know what let me put it up uh, C4 is pretty freaking funny though if you're, if you're, <laughs> I remember when I used to use it all the time before the patch and I used to get quads and triples especially if you get in the spawn and they start spawning in front of you and you just drop the C4 give it like five seconds and just blow them all up it's epic you know, but it really was unfair because it was like, you know, if you was in a gunfight and you would take cover, you just throw a C4 and just get him. So, you know, I'm glad they patched that. But, you know, I hope they they patched the, uh, you know, the uh, the grenade launchers because it's, it's really annoying. I mean, this game is, you know, past its 
you know, past this time, you could say. Um, but, you know, if a nice small little patch for the grenade launchers would help out a whole lot. Um, because they are really annoying. And right here, I'm going to rampage. Holy shit, dude. There's one more guy. Run! Jump! Run! Dude, if I kill this guy, I'm the fucking man, dude. Okay, I'm about to say it. She's out of crazy. Um, what else I want to bring you guys? I want to bring you guys, like, I was thinking about, like, uh, ideas for videos. Um, I don't have the co-op, uh, um, DLC. And God damn it, I'm going to go out and buy the freaking thing. Because I'm just going to end up getting it. Because I really want it. So I'm going to end up doing that. And I'm trying to bring you guys some light machine gameplay. I think I switched the light machine gun here and get a few kills, but nothing too ridiculous. Um, but I'm going to try to bring you guys a full light machine gun gameplay. I don't think I brought you guys, uh, I think I might have brought you guys one light machine gun gameplay. But the light machine gun, especially the one that I'm using now, is pretty freaking strong. Like, I was using it yesterday, and uh, with one clip, I got this uh, challenge for Lucky Magazine, uh, which I got like four or five kills with one magazine. So, you know, that's pretty badass. I got it up to like mod three. I, you know, I didn't mod all, all, all my weapons. I know people that, you know, since the game came out, um, they had all their guns modded. I mean, I didn't, I mean, I played a lot, but you know, I was more competitive, so I stuck to the, the guns that I liked. Um, you know, people were just, you know, ranking up all their guns no matter if they were good or not with it so you know here i just went on a freaking rampage with the knife you guys go back i knifed like fucking four guys and i drop shot at that kid that wasn't even fair but you know that's how you do it you know if, if you if you're in the spawn um and they're not looking at you don't bust your gun unless you got a silencer but the thing is that with a silencer the indicator still pops up on the enemy screen so you know don't really shoot up your, your silencer weapon if you're in the spawn you know if you can do like what i did and just knife knife your balls off just knife them up uh, you get the challenge for backstab, you get extra five points, I think. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So if you can knife, knife. Also, uh, the XP has been raised. Uh, because I actually ranked up two levels yesterday. Um, and before, I would play three hours and not rank up one level. So uh, they raised the XP. Now you get way more XP for games. Um, because I really wasn't getting that many, you know, beast uh, score. Like, I was getting, like, maybe, I broke 30. I broke 30 twice. Um, but the majority was uh, like 25s and 20s or whatnot, um, and I was getting, you know, a thousand one hundred. At one point, I got a thousand three hundred um, at the final game. Right here, look, I have 370 points now. Like yesterday, for the same score, I got like 800, 900. So you know, they raised the XP, which is pretty cool. So you rank up faster. Maybe I can finally get my level 100. Uh, well, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. This gameplay, my final score was 27 and 6 with one assist. I got MVP for my team. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. More Yankees and so come to come. I'm out. Peace!